me, being from Pitt and, and going down to Three Rivers and now playing football games in Three Rivers Stadium, and I, it was just, was like, wow, this is incredible. And my whole career was just a dream come true. You know, like I, I grew up watching football and you know, I, I had a feeling that I was good enough and I had some talent, but to actually make it to the NFL and play for a, a team like the Steelers was amazing. You know, a lot of people didn't get my name right, and um, I'm probably at fault for that because I didn't, I didn't stand up for my name more, you know. I think Myron was the guy who, uh, Myron asked me how to pronounce my name once, and I, I said, My, Myron, how do you pronounce it? He said, Jerry Olsovsky, and I said, yeah, that's good. And then uh, Jack Fleming came up to me the next day, he said, well, how do you pronounce your name? I said, well, Mr. Fleming, how do you pronounce my name? He said, Olsovsky. And I said, yeah, that's good with me. You know, they, they both said it differently, but <clears throat> Myron came up to me the next day and was like, you don't even know how to pronounce your, your own name. And I, I said, Myron, I have relatives who can't pronounce my own name. You know, th those are things you, you, you know, you look back on and it's not a big deal, you know. As I said, I was so happy to be playing in the NFL that, um, you know, they could have called me, hey, you, and I would have showed up. Chuck was so intelligent, he was like the best grade school teacher you ever had, you know, knew everything. And then Bill was there and I was a little older, I was in high school and those were my years. And it was like, wow, you know, that guy really knows what he's talking about. And, uh, you know, just to be around that, you know, those two as a player. And then to be around Coach Tomlin now and see how intelligent he is and you know, sometimes, you know, people say, oh, you know, he's this or he's that. But, you know, with us and with the players, he's so intelligent that it, it's, it's, it's amazing because he does such a good job of keeping the players' attention. As I look at all three of them, they're really kind of cut from the same cloth. Very intelligent and very passionate about the game, regardless of what you actually see on the field or in a press conference. I'm glad that I was able to uh, help continue to steal our legacy while being a part of it and in the background admiring it. So my oldest son is born on my birthday and you know that's the best birthday present you could ever get. The second best present would be to play for the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know what I mean? It's really, uh, really an honor because people in this city uh, know football and they respect football and they respect what you do and, and just to be a part of all that fabric of this, this part of the country is, is a great opportunity for me.